Hey folks, Dan Furrier here, The Rate Update. Today is the day before the big presidential inauguration. And what's happening in the market? Stay tuned. I'm gonna let you know here in a minute. So tomorrow's gonna be a huge day, huge. It's going to impact our whole country as well as the world. Um, President-elect Biden will be sworn in. One of the biggest things that he's, well, there's a couple of huge uh, things that he's probably most likely going to ink fairly quick. And for those of you out there that procrastinated on buying a home, you're going to love this. Uh, so let me, let me give you that information, then we're going to get into rates. So if you were on the fence of buying a house, well, you might not want to be on the fence much longer. You might want to get pre-approved, get the ball rolling, and let's hold off and wait and make sure and follow to make sure this does go through. Biden is proposing a $15,000 first-time home buyer tax credit. This was implemented back in, I think it was Obama implemented this back years ago when the market was crashing, and it helped millions of people get into homes. Um, the next thing is, so that, that's, a, that's a big, most likely going to happen. The next thing is FHA, those with an FHA loan, uh, if you don't have an FHA loan, you probably don't have a clue what this is, but if you have an FHA loan, um, FHA, they have what's ca called in there a monthly, you know, you, everybody heard of PMI. So PMI is whenever you don't have or put down 20%, uh, you need PMI. Or if you get an FHA loan, you have PMI. It doesn't matter if you put down 50%. You have PMI on your loan. Well, several years ago, uh, they increased that dramatically. And now what Biden's saying is he might come back and reduce that, that premium. So let's, let's look at this. Let's dive into this for one second. If you have an FHA loan and you're at three and a half or four, you can probably get in the high twos. Let's let's see if this comes to uh, this really comes comes in if he reduces FHA and I'll post a ton of videos on that. I wonder if you can get a lower rate and a lower PMI factor. It's going to be a double plus for you guys um, to possibly look into refinancing. Just two things out there that the the Biden campaign is saying that he's most likely going to implement fairly quick. Okay, so let's get on to what's going on with mortgage rates. Uh, where are we? MBS market down two. I'll, I'll take it because we were down uh, not huge this morning, but we were down this morning. Um, so this is what's why people follow me is exactly this. They want to know what's going on with mortgage rates and why, and what do I foresee in the next you know couple days, weeks, months, and, and so forth. I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's hard to estimate. You know, especially in today's world. It's hard to estimate what's going to go on six months. Or I have some people ask me, hey, Dan, what's going to happen in 2022? Honestly, I don't know. Um, if I was to throw darts and just give you a generic answer, they're going to be higher than they are now. Um, with certainty, I, yeah, who knows? Who knows what the world's going to be like You know, in a week or two? Um, who knows what the world's going to be like tomorrow? And that, that's a scary thought. Um, but right now, the MBS market is down too. What, what is that and why does it pertain to you guys? Okay, what happens with mortgage-backed securities is when the price goes up, rates come down. Well, today we saw a minus two in price. That means the rate's going up. Two basis points is, is in the MBS price. Let me put it in English for you. This isn't a big enough move to do anything in the market. So basically today was irrelevant when it comes to anything changing with mortgage rates at the end of the day. Now let's see what happened throughout the day because we opened up good, then went down, then went up, then went down and basically stabilized right here at the end of the day. Okay, so it was, let's just say the whole day was flat. So it's, an, it's a non-event today. Why? Well, all the economic news out today. What was it? Nothing. Nothing. Tomorrow's going to be huge. It's the presidential inauguration, plus there's bond auctions taking place. So tomorrow we will, we will see movements in the market. Okay? So again, we had a basically nothing happened in the mortgage with mortgage rates today, and basically there is no news. Um, and 
the headlines, and I'll, I'll be posting uh, this newsletter here shortly. It's, you know, what's the next move? It's debatable. It's basically, who knows? I hate to say it that way. I post every day, you know, on what the average rates are throughout the whole country. And this is where they are. 30-year conforming is 2.86. The 30-year jumbo, 2.94. 30-year FHA, uh, 2.84. And the 30-year VA is 2.42. The difference from one day, that's a one-day delta. One-day one delta means one-day change. You can see basically nothing. Okay, nothing. A seven-day change, basically nothing. Okay, what this three BPS means is it's three basis points. What a basis point is, is it's... Um, one one hundredth of a percent. So meaning over here, um, 2.86, the differential would be the rate, this, that rate is three basis points. So the rate would have been 2.83, plus we went up three basis points, so it's 2.86. Irrelevant. But when you go over here, you can see the one year change. Look at it, 100 basis points is 1%. So we're almost up 100 basis points across the board, meaning meaning rates are 1% lower than basically where we were yet last year at this time. So what I was saying about the, the, uh, the news from the Biden administration, if they're gonna lower the PMI factor for FHA loans, plus you can refinance and possibly get a 1% lower rate, it's a win-win, win-win-win. Uh, so that's what's going on right now today in the mortgage business. I Sorry, guys. It's an irrelevant events today is making, uh, put it this way. Let me, let me end it this way. It's the calm before the storm. And tomorrow, I, I hate to say it, and I hope it's not. I hope it's not a hurricane um, or a typhoon. And I, I, you guys know what I mean by that. So all I ask you to do is please, I know today's, today's video is not too much going on. I, I don't mind it. I don't, I, don't like, I don't mind this calm waves. I hate the big waves. Um, and we're going to have probably some big waves tomorrow. So if you're in the mortgage process right now, if you're looking to buy, build, do whatever, refinance, please give us, let me give you at least a second opinion if we're not your first option. Okay, what I ask people to do is, when you apply for a loan within three business days, by law, we as the lender, any lender, has to sub submit to you a package with all your details in it. Part of that is a, what's called a loan estimate. It goes over all your costs, your fees, and everything else. Email that to me, and I'm going to give you my information here in a minute. Email me that page. You can email me the whole package if you would. I prefer not. I'd prefer just the, the it's two or three pages. It's called a loan estimate. Let me review it and get back with you and say, okay, here's what I can do. Um, if you're not locked in, rates went up last week. So if you if you have a quote and you didn't lock in from you know three, four, five days ago, get an update because it's like airfare. You know, airfare last week if you went to fly to Florida it might have been you know 100 bucks. Today, what, what's it going to be? Well, it could be 100 bucks, could be 150 bucks, could be 300 bucks, could be 60 bucks. Who knows? So get it, you know, get an updated quote and then give me that quote. I promise you I'll get back with you within probably an hour and I'll write over, all over it in red pen and tell you what I can do. And uh, in most cases, I'm beating people. Here, here's what you want to look at. There's the rate and the fees, okay? So what I do is I don't, here's what I don't do. I'm not going to say, oh, I can get you a lower rate, but then your fees go up. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? I'm not here to, you know, uh, uh, play that shell game to, for, you know, if you don't catch me, uh, I'm going to do something to eh, really not put you in a better position. That's not my intent. So the goal is to get you a lower rate with the same fees or lower fees substantially with the same rate. The ideal situation, lower rate, lower fees combination of those could save you thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. Okay. If you're not in the mortgage process right now and you're like, you know what, let me just kick the can. See if this, see if this can help me. My son actually reached out to me and said, Hey, would it make sense for me to refinance? He just bought his house eight months ago. I ran through the numbers. I'm like, you know what? Only dropping you like a half a percent. is still going to save you like 150 bucks a month. Do it. Do it because you're that shorter duration already in, in the loan. Um, 
So even even my family members are doing it. So let's get on to how how do you reach out to me to ask questions or get your information to me or maybe apply online? Well, the easiest way to do it is go to therateupdate.com and scroll down to the bottom and there's an 800 number right here, 844-775-LOAN. It's 844-775-5626. Or here's my email address, which you can email me your mortgage statement, your loan estimate, a fee worksheet, whatever you want to call it, any quote that you got from another company, email that to me at at dfrio at preferredrate.com. You can also go to the website and apply multiple ways. You can apply right here with a full uh, online applications, 100% secure. If you're looking to buy a house and you're just like, you know, I, I really don't know, you know, maybe some answers to some questions or so, you know, really, I don't know much about what I'm doing. Click here. This helps me and you because um, it'll guide us based on the answers that you give to the question. It'll guide, guide us to the right program. This this piece here is for refinancing, it does the same thing. Or you can click here and we'll give you a call. Usually by the time you click here, within 15 minutes, you're gonna get a call from me or one of my sales guys um, and we'll answer any questions you have. A new tool we have is the free home valuation system. It's a paid subscription, I pay on your behalf. No, I don't sell the data, I don't do anything with it. You'll just get alerts about your property. It is awesome. I highly suggest you do that. It's a free service to you. So other than that, all I ask you to do is please give me a thumbs up. Hope you like the videos, find it informative. Click the bell down below. Um, so every time I do post a video, you get an alert. What really helps is when you subscribe. When you subscribe, it helps push the algorithms uh, in YouTube and helps me get viewed by more and more people. And I hope hope you could help me with that. So God bless. Take care. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.